Hello again, guys. Um, I'm gonna. I've already started this, but I wanted to slow down a little minute and give you an idea of what I'm doing. I posted in the last video that I put the low lot batting down, and now I'm getting to the latex paint phase. So all I'm doing again is taking this latex paint, uh, taking the low loft quilt batting, and dabbling or dabbing the paint into it. Uh, I'm going over as far as I can reach with this section, and then I'll go underneath the table and go that way. But uh, the important part here is I will lay this latex paint down, and then I'll start putting some ground cover on. But uh, here, let me show you a quick second what I'm doing here. So uh, you can probably see this, but essentially all you're really doing is you're dabbing it in. Okay, and the key here is you want to get it down in there and cover the white that is in the quilt batting. So you want to put the paint on fairly thick. Okay, and then just kind of spread it out, spread it around. Okay, uh, you can already tell here uh, from the last time I was posted a little bit earlier that I had not removed the track, and I was trying to do this with the track in place, and uh, that's why this part right here is not uh, glued down as well as it should be. But uh, if you do it right and learn from my mistakes, then essentially make sure that the Mod Podge is spread evenly and the batting is down. Uh, firmly. Um, it's fine. This is not that difficult. I didn't have to redo anything, but uh, I did find a few areas where the Mod Podge was not quite what it should have been. So, again, this is essentially all I'm doing. And I'll hurry up and uh, try to finish this piece for you. Alright. I think I've about got all the spots here. I'm going to make sure it's not like you have to be perfect, um, it's just that you want, don't want any big glaring spots that you got to deal with later. Okay, don't worry about the paint clumping in certain spots, you're not painting a Picasso here, so don't worry about that. Okay, and I'll set this down for a minute. Um, and then what I'll do is, uh, this is just an array of uh, five different types of ground cover. And so just as an example, uh, let's grab this fine turf first. Okay. Um, make sure you get the shaker part of it here. And then all you're really doing at this point is kind of giving it a little bit of grass effect here. Okay. You kind of change your pattern of wiggling around a little bit. I'm not too worried. I'll clean this stuff off the drips off the side later. I'm not worried about it. Don't get too close to the track because you're going to be putting your uh, ballast down next to it anyway. So it's not like you have to make it all that pretty. So anyway, there's a quick little first pass. And like, like I say, they tell you to mix this up a little bit, so um, after you put that kind of a layer down, go a little different pattern. Maybe hit some areas more than others. If something appears a little too green, then just, again, you can toy with this, you know, you don't have to get it perfect. And just because it's this color right now doesn't mean that's the color it's going to end up. But what you are wanting to do is you're wanting to uh, make sure that it's got a decent cover on it, okay? And uh, so I'll jump to a little different color now. Um, this is more of an earth tone color. Get a little bit darker in some spots. You can move up the coarseness now. Can I go for a little bit of a, a little bit more of a button blended here still. Again, um, I don't try to get too economic with the ground cover. I probably should be a little more than I am, but and then just make sure you're trying to hit the areas that you painted. Okay. 
And then uh, one last one I'll put on here uh, for you. Is uh, get a little bit coarser ground cover. Uh, hang on just a second. Back. <laughs> and the one I grabbed had didn't have the cap come off of it. So this is essentially the scrunt turf here. And you start to, you know, see. Again, that'll fix itself. All right, so um, this is longer than my normal videos, but I did want to do a little how-to here since the painting of the batting and getting this down is important. Uh, the next step uh, in this process is essentially to spray down some scenic cement. I'm not worried about the wall over here. I got my track kind of walled off. base layer will look like. You'll see the white batting isn't showing through. Um, you've got various colors mixed in. And uh, as I progressively move on, I will now go do that section and the section after that. So, and again, the goal um, is to kind of, you know, I was satisfied with how this came out. The goal is to get it looking um, like this kind of texture that I established over here uh, near the farm. You can kind of see what that looks like. Okay, again, I'm not through with this stuff over here, but uh, I guess I should ask, are you ever through uh, with the model layout? I guess being a newbie as I am and still learning, I think I've still figured out now that's a no. It's never finished. So, anyway, quick update. Uh, that's how you paint and establish your grasslands.